Out the ends, <laughs> linking gas, that's slipping. Bro, but you don't know remember what Kano said. Hey, but you know you what's crazy? girls off ends with no car. Melanin Matchmaker wants you to go where you're celebrated. So we've created a community just waiting to show up to appreciate you. An app where you can begin your journey to building long-lasting relationships. I mean, who doesn't love a great love story? Because we sure love creating them. Melanin Matchmaker, the dating app that celebrates you. People would be saying, how can they support the channel? Chisel, buy chisel. I've got tops, I've got hoodies, I've got the Jungle Z tees, like the Pain and Full Star tees. You lot could support, buy some of the merch. I'll be able to churn out more content. This one I'm just wearing by myself for the, for the moment and I'll bring out more colors. Please support. Quick fire questions. Top five rappers of all time. Who's your top five? Top five rappers of all time. Your top five. That is a tough question, but yeah. you gotta put, you gotta put Jay Z up there. I feel like that's my number one. Yeah, you gotta put Jay Z up there. You gotta put Tupac. I feel like there's only really two extra spots because <laughs> Park, Biggie, and, and Jay Z. But then you saying them enemy holding this in ninety six. Yeah, they've been holding it down <laughs> for a minute. It. But you know what it is? It's like MJ. It's like you know people have this LeBron James conversation. Mm. Cool, but LeBron James could never do for the game what MJ done, and that's strictly because of timing, where the world was. Like, there's a lot more that I think goes into being top five. But anyway, I bought myself some time. My last two. <laughs> what a legend. That's right. We it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> he diverted, came back in. <laughs> Nah, <laughs> you know when Wayne's redirects and comes back, he just used it. Last two, um, uh, you got to put, I feel like you got to put, uh, see this is a, you got to put Drake up there in it. Huh? You have to, you have to. Okay. Do you know why I say that? He's had a game on the show Do you know why? Decade. Yeah, do you know why I say that? Because the amount of times that he's pivoted, bro, like... You can't, okay. you just can't deny it, bro. Right, and, so, and the ability to pivot so and, and... So there's one more spot. Who's that going to? And there's one more spot. This is where I'm Because now I put a lot of pressure on this last spot. Look at you, you're ready to question it already. I'm, I'm, oh, no. Ah, no, no, he's ready to question yeah. it. Because the cup's empty and he's yeah. pretending like he's going to drink it. You need he's some just, more water. <laughs> put some water so, I need some milk. And and least, <laughs> you need some more water, right, sir. No, but number five, yeah, 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 number five. Yeah, you got to put Drake up there. You have to. Just, just off, yeah, achievement-wise. Right. Um, and then the fifth, fifth and final, I would say, uh, this is rough, bro. This is rough. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say, oh, this one's tough, bro. I'll say Lil Wayne. Thank there had God. to be a southern rapper. I'll say Thank God. No, I was that's, I was no, no, that's why, that's yeah, why yeah, I was holding waiting, the cup. Why? Because I'm thinking of like, everything that has come from this person also. So exactly. I'm looking at them as like the exactly. tree and you yeah, can't yeah, put Drake yeah. without putting Wayne because he's is, like a branch. Mm, mm. This is where you I was it. like, yeah, you, you, can't, was like, you yeah. can't catch me. I was thinking oh, if you didn't put a silver rapper and the silver rapper I was thinking was Wayne, I was just like, hmm. No, it's got, yeah, no, it's got to be nice. Wayne. It's got to be yeah. Wayne. Wayne had the game on a chokehold at a certain point, but oh, I was, There was a time, it was car phone days. Yeah. There was a time I was listening to the top 10 chart and Lil Wayne was on seven of the songs. I got a little bit hairy, boy. The sun, <laughs> the sun over here. Like, beating. It was beating. Bro, yeah. Lil Wayne was on seven of the top ten songs. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, this guy's just a machine. He's yeah. a machine, bro. Yeah. Like an absolute machine. And, and, any, anytime Khaled needed a hit, he just... Let's reach out to Wayne. just reach out to Wayne. Yeah. Wheezy. And then, yeah, what I, f like I found personally, I'm a Wayne stan, in it. So mm -hmm. let's just get it out of the way. But... You see, like, when you break down how he comes in on a milli, yeah? What he's actually saying is mad. Like, it's... M like, when you... No, when you start deep in it, like, there's stuff that will go over your head. Yeah, like... Tougher than Nigerian hair. No, forget that. No, no, no. I don't know. I say, where's our tough hair? Yeah, yeah. Wait, where's our tough hair? Why is he giving us... Do you know why the hair's tough? It's the hard water in the village. That's what it is. But but even what people don't know is that when he said that, he was referring to his own lineage. Yeah. Because he did his ancestry. Ancestry. And came back that he was Nigerian. Yeah. But it's when he continues and says, I'm a venereal disease like a menstrual bleed through the pencil and leaf on the sheet of the tablet in my mind because I don't write shit because I ain't got time. Like, 
when you break that down, yeah, it's insane. Yeah, like, it's very for, nuts. For a man to think of that and not even write that down as yeah, well. Yeah, his metaphor games different, was different always games. scary. Different, very yeah. scary, bro. <laughs> I remember one time I was listening to the tune with him and Gas Malone. Uh, Glass of Malone, and there's a tune, there's a l- lyric where it says, Love is in the air, I put on a gas mask. Gas I was just like, Boy, <laughs> He's got the love is in the air, so I hold my breath. He's got bear in there. I was like, right. He's got bear in there. I was like, What a guy. You know what I mean? Different. Yeah, Levels. Levels. Top five basketball players of all time. Top five basketball players of all time. It's got to be MJ, Bron. Got to have uh, Wilt Chamberlain in there because he's just different. Kareem, Abdul Jabbar. Creative Skyhook can't really f*** with that. Last one has to be Steph Curry. No Kobe. Ah, oh, that's oh, tough. Jeez. Yeah, jeez. the real black member just got left out. No Kobe. Do you know what? Do you know the reason why I say no Kobe? It's because there's no Kobe. There's no Kobe without MJ. Man, you have to like the the player that is the players that are of LeBron James's mold as far as. You've got um, the Magic's Larry Bird. I say he's in like that same kind of mold, like yeah. big forwards yeah. that are ball dominant that yeah. control the game. LeBron's the best one. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Them players of Kobe's mold, yeah. really. It's only two men like that. Um, and you, you, you could kind of put um, Dwayne Wade in like the shooting guard discussion. Yeah. Because it's like, bro, Dwayne Wade is savage, but it's MJ. Like he's the, the, at he's the top, the top of that. Of that that future. Yeah. Uh, your top five actors of all time. Five actors, bruv. To be fair, I'm not very good with movies, but yeah. I would Bruh, say... with all that free time you had in Japan, you went... Nah, man, I, I don't watch a lot of... Yeah. I don't watch, like, mad TV yeah. and, like, movies like that. Yeah. I probably watch, like, YouTube yeah. stuff. Yeah, I watch more. a lot of YouTube. I watch yeah. a lot of YouTube, yeah. but I don't really... But, um, actors, let me see. Um, bruv, yeah, I don't know. I fuck with Denzel. Denzel's flipping hard to me. Mm. Very, very hard. Um, but I feel like he almost plays the same character, uh, kind of, in a lot of movies. Mm. But I, mean, I ain't got five for you. <laughs> I ain't got five for you. <laughs> I, I, Denzel. I yeah, because I, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not a top, movie top, like top, that. Uh, I was going to ask after that top five black movies of all time that you would say. Top five black movies? Probably got to be Don't Be a Menace. Absolutely jokes. Boys in the Hood, got to be in there. I fuck with New Jack. Above the Rim, very hard. Classic. Okay. Um, and you know what? F- it paid in full. Paid I, I, see, I you see, I was waiting. Can't put, you can't oh my God. I was waiting. I was was waiting. That was full. the second time. I was right. waiting. Can't forget paid in full. I was waiting. I was like, right, if that film wasn't there. Nah, paid in full. That, that one, film one, influenced the culture in Facts. multiple ways. Facts. I'd have to... I'd have to throw in either coming to America or trading places as well. Mm, yeah, people, yeah, you can't lose it then. People don't realise the levels of what Eddie Murphy was doing back then. Yeah, he was doing. Black Holly culture. Yeah. Yeah. Boomerang like, as well yeah, in them when, days, yeah. Mm-hmm. When you realise that yeah. like, he put a man like Samuel Jackson. Mad. Yeah. Top five countries you played in? Top five countries I've played in. Well, states, obviously. Mm. Um, Greece was an absolute vibe. Spain was popping. Uh, France, it's pretty dope. Yeah. And I'll say the last one that I visited and played in was probably Israel. Israel was dope. Israel was dope. Yeah. A vibe out there. Who do you say is your fave Love Island character of all Favorite time? Love Island character, it would have to be someone from Maya because I ain't watched enough in it. Yeah. Um, so I'll be Amber, innit? Have you not been watching for a long time? Because I never I only started watching when you was... I, I told you, I never used to watch it then. Literally, um, when you was on... I, fam, it was the weirdest day. I'm just saying... <coughs> on my phone, like... Random girls like, oh, what well, Ovi follows you? I was like, what are you talking about? Then literally, I just... Like I said, I was like, Ovi Soko. And I was like, yeah. I was like, turn on TV. I was like, rah, this... This... <laughs> I was like, this... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> on the TV, <laughs> doing uh, model guy. Hey, yeah. we was getting we was getting assist from you being on TV, boy. Swear? Yeah, well, you yeah, were the you were the assist man without realizing, boy. At all, at all, <laughs> yeah, at all, everyone at all. Was just getting. It. But that's a weird thing, though. Yeah, I it's promise mad. you, bro. Like, because obviously to be from London, mm. and I haven't lived there since sixteen, but I'm here every summer, so yeah. I'm here for the same amount of time. Every and year. All, yeah, yeah, every year yeah. for the last however many years yeah. and then all of a sudden 
you dip off for like one month to do this thing and now you come back and now you're, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. same place you've yeah. lived for 28 years yeah. of your life, yeah. all of a sudden it's different. Mm. It's mm. a mad thing to me, bro. It's, yeah. it's really, you know what I'm saying? Say, you didn't even say what part of London you grew up in. No, so I grew up in Tottenham mm. until I was about 11. Then I moved to Northwest London. Mm. I moved to um, Mill Hill, that's in Barnet. Yeah. Um, nice area, you know what I mean? Uh, and yeah, I was there up until 16. Yeah. And then that's when I dipped off. I used, to, I, used to play, I used to play at Capitals. Capitals, Northwest, that's in what, yeah. Harlston, I think. Yeah. I used I to go, I used to go um, yeah. them sides. I used to play there a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you done the trick. Yeah. But then that's what. But you know what dragged me there in it? <laughs> My first ever girlfriend's from Grove. Oh. So gosh. I was like, kill two birds with one stone. Off ends, no I was whip. Like, play for. <sighs> that's. Out the ends, <laughs> linking gas, that's slipping. Bro, but you don't know. Remember what Kano said? Hey, but you know what's crazy? Link girls off ends with no car. Hackney days. I was playing on the 16s. I end up knowing the whole of East. Because mm. the rivalry. Rivalry between Hackney and Brixton in days was strong. Yeah, fact. so everyone just like everyone just remembered me as my man could jump. <laughs> you know, that was, was nice. Like, yeah. I feel like yeah. North, um, like White Heat and all of that stuff. Tottenham and Harringay boy had Haringey, some athletes. They were pretty cold, but yeah. by these times I'd moved to Northwest. So yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Northwest, yeah. we had some ballers mm. like, around my age group. When, um, when I'd moved after under 18s. I went and played on the 20s mm. for Capital. Yeah. So that was the last ever season of the 20s and we won it. But that team was a hybrid team. So you had me from Brixton. You had everyone You had Caesar and Caveman from, uh, they played for Richmond. Mm -hmm. You had a couple man who were in Northwest. Then you had a couple man who played for like Warriors. Yeah. And we all just ended up on one team yeah. and we beat Hackney in the finals. Oh, I was happy as hell. <laughs> I was like, finally, like, I remember <laughs> under 16s here yeah, when there's a picture online, me, Justin, Matthew, and all of that, and we came second. And I'm just there, hands crossed, screwing. Vex. Fam, when I left there, I threw the medal in the bin. Vex. Yeah, I was like, Vex. second place. See, I, bro, by the time I was, when I was playing, Brixton, you lot was running everything. Brixton you lot was, was a, smacking was everybody. Yeah, Brixton bro. was a factory. I remember um, Jimmy, drive the mind, and he'll be, you just hear his croaky voice on the side the whole but, game. But you know what's mad here? Yeah? That kind of error trickled down from people like Ajo Deng because mm. you know what is yeah when I tell people yeah when you see someone like Ajo who was like six foot eleven he was basically if he didn't get injured he was basically Kevin Durant Facts. he could pull the free from long like he was very skilled very athletic so let's say during the summer you're seeing someone like this come scrimmage and you're small and you're going to the bucket to go lay up in your head you're thinking yeah, if I lay up my man's gonna block yeah, me yeah he's fresh so you became athletic due to people due like to that what you had to yeah you yeah. had to you had no choice so yeah when people like that around you you play up a level yeah yeah, so yeah, now yeah when you play to. when you're playing your age group you don't realize how these lot in two months of being around you they've advanced you like a couple years mm -hmm. yeah. so it became a trend where all the guys who are older when they, they come, back, come the, back the youngers are getting better oh. each year yeah uh, crazy to say because for as long as i remember i remember First time I even seen Justin or them lot was on Midnight Madness. Yeah. Remember when Midnight Madness yeah. was first blue yeah. and like it was literally all yeah. night yeah. in Crystal Palace and they yeah. done yeah, that's the first time I seen Back um, back in day, so Justin, me and Justin we went uh same school together, but I met Justin's like one of my first ever friends mm. in England. So I met him when I was eleven and he was nine and I used to make him cry all the time. Mm. And I used to be like toughen up, like getting into his head. Yeah. So like when we were younger, I'd be like, Let's go and play this park, let's go play that park. So dragging him along mm -hmm. with me to go play with people who are Different way older spots, than us. Yeah. So That's by the time he was playing on the 18s at 14, he was already a man. He was already <laughs> a monster. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that mentality, I was in his head all the time. Like I was like, "Raw, you can't be a cry baby. Like your dad ain't here, your mum ain't here right now. Let's go." So by the time Justin got to like 16, he was an animal. I remember one time he was playing uh, on the 18s game, and I'm at the side saying, "Go for 50." Uh, you hit 50, go for 70, Man. and he hit 70, and he was just like in a zone, and I was like, I'm not 18 no more, I'm not under 18, I'm 19 now, so I'm a fan, and I was just in his head, but he you was see built it though, but you can different, see that. yeah, because that's mad, I met, when I, by the time I come across, across Justin, it was his, I don't know how many years he had already been playing pro, he's just a couple years older than me, yeah. but um, I met him over in Greece, yeah. and it's mad, because you can see 
certain elements of that, you know what I'm saying, when yeah. I started playing with him. And, and I feel like that's a testament just to the whole Brixton top Yeah, cap, yeah. You know no, saying, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy was in a lot of us, our heads from young. Yeah. And I always say, I always say to everyone, like, I always thank him for that because that side of basketball taught man, like you see like when people say, oh, you hustle hard. Mm. Jimmy was in my head. Mm. Jimmy's still in my head. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you get yeah, after it. Because yeah. I, I hear, I, you know, I come across a lot of people who talk quite a bit and say they, they're they planning to do this, this and the other. But I feel like people follow you for long enough. Yeah. They'll see like things that you have said Come to that fruition. you're actually, do you know what I'm saying? You can actually see steps yeah. that you're taking towards making it happen. Yeah. Even if it's not at the final stage yet or it's not exactly where you can see, oh, no, I can see him getting closer to that. Yeah. Which is it's dope to see and yeah. it's great to watch. Um, when yeah. We, yeah, like I said, when we were younger, Jimmy used to have talks like to all of us. He was like, basketball is just a, it's a vessel. It's a vehicle. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah, is yeah. just to teach you about yourself and and discipline like if, you, if you're able to make training in this sport like three four times a week and you're not getting paid for it and you're able to put in time and dedication imagine when you're older and now you've got like businesses and stuff you want to do and you put in the same energy you're and wired time. the same that yeah. same way and so it transfers I'm, it's transferable skills yeah. so I'm stuck in that plane of mind where he's hammered certain things to that's us perfect, where though, you know what I mean where you've got people who've come from that club like Noir, Marsha and Brogius mm. and there's just people just flourishing but they've all come via the Jimmy Tree. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, Woo! let's go, 26, 27, 28, Woo! let's go, 29, come on, come on, daddy, keep going, keep going, 31, let's go, 32, let's go, 33, Good, let's go, keep pushing, 34. Let's go, 35. Ooh. Ah, She's in second place, I'm isn't it? Sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah second place. It's respectable. Oh, you know, yeah, second pressure. Place. Pressure burst Jeez. pipes and pressure, pressure burst big burst diamonds. Boom. I hope you like this one. Uh, remember, Summer Love the Festival, August the 14th. If you ain't got your ticket, what are you doing? You know what I mean? You been saying you wanna support this and support that pull up you're gonna see all the man them there everyone's gonna be there so make sure you're there Boom. melanin matchmaker wants you to go where you're celebrated so we've created a community just waiting to show up to appreciate you an app where you can begin your journey to building long-lasting relationships i mean who doesn't love a great love story? Because we sure love creating them. Melanin Matchmaker, the dating app that celebrates you.